गिवन क्वेश्चन ए स्टील वायर इज स्ट्रेच होरिजोटली बिट्वीन टू फिक्स्ड पॉइंट्स ए व्हर्टिकल लोड एप्लाइड एट द मिड स्पैन ऑफ वायर कॉजेस ए व्हर्टिकल डिस्प्लेसमेंट एट द पॉइंट ऑफ एप्लीकेशन ऑफ द लोड एप्लाइड वॉट विल बी द स्ट्रेस इंड्यूस्ड इन द वायर एंड द लोड एप्लाइड Let us understand given question. Wire of two meter length and five millimeter diameter is connected in between two fixed supports. Load P is applied at the midpoint of this wire. When we apply the load P, then at the point of application of load, there is the deflection delta L, which is equal to forty millimeter. and young's modulus for this wire is given 100 giga newton per meter square we have to find out magnitude of this applied load p we will first draw the free body diagram now when we apply load p at the midpoint then there is the deflection is equal to 40 mm so this is the horizontal position of wire now we will show the final position of wire so this wire will rotate about this fixed support so i will show here this is the final position now if we observe each half portion of this wire is getting deflected through an angle theta about this fixed support so we will show here angle theta now due to deflection tension is produced in the wire so we will show the tension produced is equal to t which is equal in magnitude but opposite in direction for each half portion of the wire now we have to find out magnitude of this applied load p so here p is equal to question mark now we will rearrange this diagram now due to the applied load p here the deflection in the wire is taking place now i will take some length which is equal to magnitude of this load p and we will draw here one vertical line which indicates the magnitude of this load p now these two wires are having deflection with respect to horizontal line now i will show here one horizontal line from the middle point of this vertical length and here is the p so this is the approximate length that we have to select now here is the inclination of the half portion of the wire so with the help of roller we have to take this and by taking the parallel line for the half portion we have to connect the one end of this length p to the horizontal line now if we observe with respect to this horizontal line here is angle theta so i will show here angle theta now this is the second half portion of the wire so i will take this inclination and again i will connect the other end of this length to the horizontal line now for this inclined line also inclination with horizontal is also equal to theta now if we observe we get here is the total length p then this is the length of the wire and this is the horizontal line now this half portion is equal to p by 2 so i will show here it is equal to p by 2 now i will give here the notation this point is l this point is m and here is point n now if we observe the triangle l m n then in this triangle we can say that p by 2 is equal to t into sin theta because this is the length of the wire inclined wire and along this length there is the tension t is produced so i will show here tension t now in this triangle how we can develop the relation in between p and t 
because of this applied load P tension T is getting produced so from this triangle we can write here uh, so we can also write sin theta is equal to P by 2 divided by T so in the other form we will write P by 2 is equal to T into sin theta so T is equal to P divided by 2 sin theta how to find out angle theta now if we observe this triangle then in this triangle here the term is sin theta so if we take sin theta then sin theta is equal to 40 divided by t but this t is the unknown term so this length is known so i will give here the notations here is the point A, B and C. Now in this triangle A, B, C this theta is very small. So we can write here sin theta is equal to tan theta. And what is the value of tan theta? So tan theta is equal to 40 millimeters. That is 40 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter divided by this length AC. So AC is equal to 1 meter divided by 1. So instead of sin theta, we will take tan theta and its a value is 40 into 10 raised to minus 3 that is 0 0.04 divided by 1. So when we solve this, then we will get the relation in between this tension T and the applied load P. So T is equal to 12.5 P. We will find out the value of stress and strain for each half portion of the wire. So first we will take stress. Now if we observe the diagram then the stress in the wire is when it is inclined at an angle theta about this fixed support. And this stress is due to the tension T. So how to calculate this stress? So stress is equal to this tension T divided by cross sectional area of this wire. So we will write the value of T in terms of P that we have calculated. So T is equal to 12.5 P divided by cross sectional area pi by 4 D square. So this 5 millimeter we will convert it into meter 0.005 square. So when we solve this then we will get stress is equal to 6.37 into 10 raised to 5 P. Now we will calculate strain. So strain is change in length divided by original length. Now if we observe original length is AC. And change in length here this value B to C we have to calculate. And when we calculate the value of length B to C. And if we subtract AC from that then we will get the change in length. So how to calculate BC? So in the triangle ABC, this is the right angle triangle at A. So we can write here BC is equal to under root of AB square plus AC square. So AB is 0 0.04 square. So this value 40 millimeter we have to take in meter. And AC is 1. So when we calculate we will get the value of BC 1.5. 0, 0, 0, 7, 9 meter. So what is the change in length? So delta L is equal to BC minus AC. So it is equal to 0 0.00079 meter. Now we will calculate strain. That is this value of delta L divided by L. So we have considered only half position of the wire. So we have to consider only this length AC. So we will get strain. Now we have formula Young's modulus is equal to stress by strain. So value of stress is here in terms of P and value of strain is here. Now we will calculate this. So value of E is mentioned in the question. So this is the equation in terms of P. So there is only one unknown value P and when we calculate we will get P is equal to 1240 Newton.